The deep fake. Can you guys truly believe the video? Before the CG, which is a computer graphic, became popularized, picture was a tool for verifying the truth. But after the advent of the Photoshop, which simplified the CG, the credibility of the photo has collapsed. Then, the video has been treated as the most credible tool. However, the deep learning is now entirely changing the world. Today, I will gonna talk about the deep fake, which is a sort of video computer graphic, like as Photoshop was that of the picture. Deep fake is now shaking our belief on the video. The name deep fake is a compound of the two words deep learning and the fake. This is new video CG technology which makes the AI to analyze the face on the video and synthesize with different person's face. In short, you can easily fabricate the video. Here's one of the video that sparked the deep fake problem, especially on US presidential election season. Here is a high-profile example of this one. There was a deepfake of the Facebook Mark Zuckerberg who seemed to talking about the word domination. I wish I could keep telling you that our mission in life is connecting people, but it isn't. We just want to predict your future behaviors. Spectre showed me how to manipulate you into sharing intimate data about yourself and all those you love for free. The more you express yourself, the more we own you. It is surely the fake one, but it is surprisingly seem real and moreover, sophisticated and delicate. Deepfake technology is developed in an alarming rate after the introduce of the GAN, one of the deep learning algorithms. GAN is the abbreviation of the words Generative Adversion Network, and it is a class of machine learning system. There are two neurons networks. One of them acts as a copy machine. By learning from the original neural target, it kept generate the fake ones. And what does the other neural networks? The other one acts as a checkpoint. It kept to distinguish the least authentic ones between the original and copies. They kept doing this process again and again and again. And finally, sophisticate the quality of the copies. Yes, yes, it is hard, hard technology. So it was hard to assess if you're not an expert at machine learning, and this were exclusive only to them. But the situation changed after the advent of the applications such as the fake apps. Then let's try to fake the video. If we put the original video in section A and put the face which I want into the section B, the AI analyzed both faces on A and B. Then finally, put the face of B into the original A video. But this is not just covering up the face on the video like a collage. The AI analyzed the eye, nose, and mouth one by one. So the face expressions and the angle of it is entirely reflected into the video. So, this makes the fake one looks really a rear. It is really easy to do it and it does not take them much time. Most importantly, it becomes viral. So people are now making a bad use of these apps. Because of the repercussion triggered by this program, strong regulations are under the discussion. Mm, actually, I do not want to share the abuse examples in, in this video. And also, really a lot of video and press already warned about the expected cascade of deepfake. But for keeping the balance, Let's talk about the bright size. Then, the deepfake is entirely the evil? It isn't. If we use it well, the future that we have dreamed of can be closer to us. At first, video AI beyond the voice AI. A. Customize your secretary. We are now familiar with the audio AI such as Siri, Alexa, Bixby, whatever. What if they have the real face? We can customize our secretary with our favorite celebrities. If we fuse up the deepfake with the voice converting technology, we can get our personal secretary. B. Ultimate Education 
There already exists AI education using AI speakers, but what if we make our children talk by their favorite animation characters or TV stars? If they talk by the Elsa or Tony Stark, they will love learning. How amazing it is! D. AI Announcer Chinese media Xinhua revealed the AI anchor using this technology. If they put the text on, the AI announcer briefed the news. Then we can deliver the fastest news on time. The second, talk with the dads. Recently, Samsung are in the center in Moscow showed the technology which can convert the photo into the video. They made interesting videos such as living portrait of Marley Malo, Mona Lisa, and Einstein. If we have our photo of dead families and their voice files, we can talk to them virtually. It is sure that when the new technologies appear to us, they always bring a huge amount of worries stacked on them. More seriously, the deepfake is standing on the fine line between the fact and fake. It is a really huge topic. I think I can hear the noise. But let's go back to the very first of this video. I start with great symmetry for opening up this issue. Here's it. When the Photoshop appeared, all of the people worried about that and tried to ban it. But are they really banned? No, it's not. I think exactly the same process should go through the video computer graphic too. It takes a long time to make it silent, but the truth is that, while the discussions are going on, the technologies are kept developing. Here's my attitude toward new technologies. Always, the new ones should be appeared and spread. The thing that we must do is to find a good way and keep walking the better road. Thank you so much for watching my video and please subscribe to my channel. See you!